Hey everyone, so I did a little trading with villagers today. And uh, today is actually a special vill uh, not villager, special video because it's my birthday today. Yes, it is. And I'm actually really happy about it. But yeah, so I did a little bit of training. He gave us leggings. Okay, don't get me wrong, I like the leggings. Don't like the chest plate because this guy also gave us a chest plate with protection one on it. So I hope he does a little better. Uh, I'm pretty sure. Yep, max level. Protection 2. Okay, so he did a little better. Who has a better deal? He's 24 emeralds. Alright, guys. So, uh, today's video, we're going to do a world tour. I'm going to show you guys the process that I have actually done in this world. Starting off with my house. Started off pretty basic. Upgraded a bit. Had a couple pets. Doggos. Armor. Wither skeleton. We got we get we get that in the next video. I'm recording this video before I record the other one. Well after actually. After I record the next video that's gonna come out about this series. We have a lot of chests here. No simple, you know. I'm recording this video after because I actually barely remember that my birthday's tomorrow and I wanted to have a special video for it. So this is it. This is our farm. I really like the design. I feel like I went with the weird complex. Well, not complex, more of like a weird tea. But I do like it. Uh, we have a super tree grower over here. So that is pretty nice. Okay, so we can grow super trees, get some wood. We have our favorite, well, my favorite old mob grinder. Which I made out of like a whole bunch of different blocks because I didn't have enough cobblestone. But it's alright. Uh, oh, baby zombies. Two baby zombies. I did die, actually. Uh, so, in next video, you will see that I, had, I ended up with 22 levels. Yeah, I ended up dying. We have a strip mine. I love it. It's a pretty decent strip mine. I've gotten a lot of diamonds out of it. Kind of suckish, though, that I haven't found any more uh, villagers. Let me show you all my villagers. At least all the ones that give me uh, enchantment books. This guy gives us a fortune for only 15. It's not too bad. Even though we're going to need, like, four of those every time. Silk Touch, one. And he gives us power, two so far. Thorns, three. One of the best, I guess. Protection, three. One of the second best. You know, pretty good one, actually. Flame. We get infinity for only five. That's mending villager. Not even gonna look at it. One of my favorites. Looting two for sixteen. Not too shabby. Fire aspect twenty-eight. Not too bad. Unbreaking three for thirty-seven. A little expensive, but kind of worth it. You give us still now fire protection. You you even want any need for my nether set? You give us efficiency. You give us sharpness, and I'm pretty sure you give us feather falling. Okay. That's not too bad. We got a little farm over here. And then we can't forget about throne for Queen Iris. Hi, Queen Iris. We have a little farm over here. A little sapling. A little... Portal, which the only thing I've really built on the other side is a uh, tunnel to the end farm. And uh, this is a little breeder I made. This little dock, little con not really that complex. Actually, just pillars and a bunch of slabs, some fence poles and some lanterns. We have a iron farm over there, which I mean it's functional, but I'm not gonna. You know, what, do I have a boat over here? Do I have a boat on the dock? Yep, I do have a boat on the dock. Okay, I'll show it to you. Let's go. Sorry, I like it when the oars are in sync. Okay, they are. Now, why is that one faster? It's not, but it feels like it. Alright, guys. Well, this is me fishing. Ooh, some kelp. I don't need it. Oh, yeah, this is our AFK farm, uh, platform. And this is where the magic happens. Yeah, we have no iron in here right now, but we have a lot of string. And this is how you can tell we've killed... Many golems. Oh, I have the iron that we got from here. Yeah, that's the iron belongs there. 
But yeah. So that's what we've done in this world so far. I know I sped through it really quickly, but I just don't want to take too much time doing that, actually, and focusing on a different task I have, actually. I want to build something, but I don't think I'm going to be able to build it today. I want to build a shrine. A shrine. I don't know why, but I want to build a shrine when I kill the Ender Dragon. I want to build something. Like, I don't know, maybe like a statue or something. Something that states that, like, I've done it. Or maybe, like, have an egg and, like, a statue right next to it. I don't know. I want to build a shrine towards the Ender Dragon when I eventually beat him. So that's why I'm saying I can't do it now, but, like, eventually. Do I have sticks? I can make sticks. Good things to making sticks is a thing. Now, real question is, can I make... Okay, I can make these. Alright, let's turn this all into sticks. Okay. And the reason for that is, since we have chests down here, let me explain to you what these are. These specific chests, I want to label. Now, let me explain why. Eventually, in Minecraft, you can always make armor, and you can always enchant armor, but there's always armor that you can enchant to make it really good. I don't have food, and I'm realizing that now. Do I have my looting sword? I do. But the only problem is I don't have my iron anymore, because I may or may not have just put it all over in the iron farm. All right, guys, we will be right back after the short intermission. I need the, the I need the sword for to kill the cows. And by short intermission, I mean I'm still talking to you guys instead of cutting the video. But it's all right. I like talking to you guys. All right, let's do this. Yes, guys. So today's my birthday. I decided to hop out of Minecraft. I was thinking about recording a video, and I was like, should I? And I was like, yeah, I should record a video for you guys. So, yeah, I'm recording a video today for you guys. I hope you all have a great day. And it looks like we have an iron golem that's spawning. Deal damage. Give me some iron. Yeah, it takes very long and it's very loud. Because he has 100 hearts, so. Oh, there he goes. We got some iron. I'm only going to take, like, five. Oh, look, we got another golem. Is he going to actually fall fully in, or? Oh, he did. Okay. Well, guys, let's go repair our story. And we're going to eat, and then we can do what I wanted to talk about. Because I want to build a shrine. Like, I just want to build something in my world that states that I've beat the Ender Dragon. And I don't want to face him yet, because if I face him right now, I am not surviving. But I want to face him. And I've, I've seen a lot of people build uh, Enderman Farm, but they built it in Java Edition. So that itself is a problem. I'm on Bedrock Edition. But Enderman Farm gives you so much XP. And XP is nice. Wait, does it really take five whole? It does. Alright, let's use five of our levels to repair our sword. I do like this sword. One more, come on. Okay. Okay, we have 10 and 7. Hopefully I don't die to hunger. No, like seriously. Hopefully I don't die from hunger. Oh, hold up. We got some cooked fish. Okay, that's good. Hi, Iris. Hold up, hold up. I gotta feed the Iris. 
Can I not feed you, uh, cook? Is it cooked? I can't feed you cooked. Do I have raw fish? Raw fish. Raw fish. There has to be a fish here somewhere. I cannot. I just ate in front of Iris without giving her something. Uh, Iris, I'll be right back. I ate in front of a queen without giving her food. I really hope Iris forgives me. Thank God for this farm. Alright, uh, one thing I do want to actually end up doing is naming a whole bunch of, uh, weapons in this game. Like, when I enchant them and get them good weapons. But, I want to name it something different. I don't want to name them, like, regular names. I want to name it... Let's get rid of all this. I want to name them, like, special names. Like, maybe name, like, a sword, like, the Dark Knight... Like, name them something that's, like, not even in the same game. Just, like, add a different feel. Uh, what was I gonna do? Oh, wait, yeah. I, I didn't say it to you guys, but I had a plan that I wanted to do. So, one of the best things to do in this game, the game where there are no rules. Where's my pickaxe? And I believe I don't actually own I guess we can use this axe let's upgrade it at least a little bit let's upgrade it a little bit all right those are all the tools in the game this is so I know eventually I am missing one chest Good thing this game cannot speak. I knew I was missing something. Because earlier today I was counting all the tools and I was like, that doesn't seem just a, a right. And I was correct. It did not seem right. This is just so I can get enchantments on them. Feels weird that the axe is gonna be the only it's gonna be the only thing that's not enchanted. I'm not giving the axe. The axe can rest up here with the legends. All right. Now I know I have armor. I can use boots. Helmet. That's all I have. Good thing I have 26 emeralds and two villagers that sell armor. Let's hope one of these guys gives me chest plate and leggings. I know one of them gives me leggings, but chest plate? I doubt it. Do you give me iron chest plate? No. Oh, chain mill. I'm pretty sure this guy gives me a chain leggings. No, he's iron leggings. Alright. And, uh, you, sir, I will take the chest plate. Alright. Oh, wait, I just equipped on the boots. Yeah, right. I know this isn't, like, the best idea, but this is just, so, like, as a marker, as, like, an indicator, so I can tell. Uh, this is where my armor like combined enchantments for my armor can go there Hey Iris You know what let's do a little bit of a uh, exchanging with my fellow villagers All right You give us an enchantment, but I know paper barely levels you up anymore, but it still gives me emeralds, so ooh. Oh punch. Ooh. 
This thing gives me another book. And now, your boy got eight lanterns that he's gonna go and uh, spoil on himself, of course. Lanterns literally underrated lighting. You put these boys on a fence, I guarantee your lighting's gonna hit different. Oh, uh, come on. Oh, wait, I forgot about all the corners I have here. Alright, I'm gonna need more lanterns. And I don't really bother me that I need more lanterns. Lanterns are the best. I'm here to buy more lanterns. Did you just stop selling me? And he just stopped selling me lanterns. The dude knows I have a problem, and he just stopped providing me with lanterns. That, that hurt my feelings, dude. See, because of you, I was one off. Yeah, right. Let's put one. Let's put one on top of our anvil. For good luck. Uh, looks like. Can I just put one? No, I can't. That's better. Alright, guys. I'm probably going to do a little bit more than on and off today's video here. But I hope you all are having a great day. I need my sword, just in case. Alright, let's get some shut eye. Queen Iris is doing better. I hope so, Iris. Yeah, the throne's pretty simple. I like the design I went for. Because I try to keep it like pure survival because I'm obviously not cheating So I just didn't want to uh, like use blocks that I didn't have access to right as of that moment And to prove that I am not cheating in this world. Let's go to settings because I do want to check something out I'm pretty because I don't keep inventories off, but is there anything I can change that won't count as cheating? Uh, uh Let's go to guess. Let's go all the way down uh, no. Okay, without activating cheats, I can't change none of that. Oh, they have holiday creator features? Custom biomes. Oh, yeah, because, uh, the beta. Oh, yeah, 1.17. Oh, I can turn off TNT spreads, fire spreads. That'd be kind of useful. Okay. Yeah, you really can't change much. Alright. Oh, yep, yeah, that's it. That's all I wanted to check. Okay. A farmer villager. Hold up, let me drop in. I can buy cookies from you. I don't have melons. I want to actually. Do any of you guys want to sell me melons? Oh, you actually sell cake. I'm gonna need more sticks. They. She actually sells cake. Uh, I was, I don't have an egg. See, that was the problem. I didn't have an egg, so I couldn't make a cake. But this lady literally is selling cake. I'm going to say lady. I don't even know what villagers are. They could literally be a whole entire dude, and I don't think people in Minecraft would even notice. And I wouldn't even blame them. Uh, we got cookies, though, for days. Let's see some cookies. One of Minecraft's best delicacies. Cookies. I wish you could uncraft stuff. But like depending on like the durability. It's like how much you would get back. So like imagine having like a watermelon. Right from buying from a villager. Turning it back to seeds. Well no I'm pretty sure you could do that. No you could do that anyways. Imagine having like a bread. And like you could turn it back into wheat. Or like cookies turn it back into cocoa beans. Or sugar, whatever, whatever it is for an actual cookie. I'm pretty sure it's like multiple block things, but all right, all right. What are, do any of you all want? Carrots. I will go. I will go and get some carrots. I oh, will be right back. I don't have an axe on me. I don't have an axe on me. Let's bust through here. We're about to go get some carrots, boys. Alright, let's go to our farm, get some carrots, and let's go help out this lady. 
Let's get her. I'm totally not doing this for myself so I can have a birthday cake in Minecraft. Totally not. Just doing this to help out the villager. But yeah. Alright, so let's pick up all the leftover vegetation. Okay, let's grab this. Alright. Yep, guys. This is pretty much a, every. every uh, this is pretty much what I do every time when I have to restock the farm for food. I just normally eat all the food, so you don't get to see it. All right, let's restock this. All right. Now let's go trade with that villager. Let's get some cake. Let's get some cake. And I'm not going to share it with Iris this time. I I recorded a video of me eating the cake. And I put it on Iris's throne. But those are half slaps. But they're bottom half slaps. So the cake just uh, hovered. And then I tried to break it. And then the cake. I didn't get the cake back. Hold up, hold up. You're 18 cookies? Three emeralds for 18. How much are you? You better be at least 18. Okay, you are. Suspicious stew. I'm gonna buy one of those just for fun. Oh, come on. No. You are not letting me away from. I'm gonna love this villager. Golden carrots? Golden carrots. This villager is literally trading me. Golden carrots. This villager. Oh my god. I'm buying one cake, one suspicious stew. I'm not gonna be able to exit this. I love this villager. Favorite villager. You know, we're eating this too. I got jump boost. Oh, we disappeared. Of course he did. I gotta make an exit, but the only problem is they can make it out of any door. I mean, I could always pick an iron door now that I have an iron farm. So that's pretty cool. Alright. Uh. Iris. These are half slabs, I know, but can I have permission to remove your, thank you. Iris, can you please scoot over? I know you're not gonna be in the middle, but I have a pretty cool idea. I don't know if this is gonna look nice, Cause I'm pretty sure it's gonna low lay on the side. I can't even place it here. Oh, that's gonna suck. Never mind. I had an idea of like giving her like a little cap bowl. All right, let's sacrifice the lantern for a cake. Let's go. Beat it up. I should really get a pickaxe. My brain actually gave me some useful advice. All right. Iris. Thank you for the cake. Thank you. All right, guys. I am actually surprised. I actually have a villager. Oh, wait. This is an iron door. Okay. Okay. In my defense, guys. So, I had this iron door here. But, for some reason, villagers kept on escaping. And, it bothered me so much that I patched it up. But, I still like this way in. You know, like, overhead entrance. Where are my villagers? You are the level 2 farmer. You guys actually giving me the same trade. So, I'm hoping that guy also gives me the same thing. Uh, suspicious stew. Cake. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
uh, jump boost. It's a little bit of jump boost. Okay. Let's go get some more carrots so I can trade. Let's get up a little bit of an appetite too, so let's jump actually. Get a little bit of an appetite, you know, so we can actually eat some more food. Do do do. This is going to be the last row, and then I don't need no more carrots. Alright. Did I really? Oh no, I got another stack. I was gonna say, did I not get any more carrots? I know I had the other four in my inventory. Well, hot bar, but still. I was like, did I not pick up any more? All right, let's go. We have a we have a whole other line of carrots to do, so I'm probably only gonna get three. Oh no, I did that. Okay, well let's get some rest. Let's get a quick nap in and then we'll trade a little bit oh we can eat some stew got a little bit of jump boost all right yes guys uh i forgot to say i am recording i don't know if i said that but i'm recording this video before my fortress well after my fortress video but this video is gonna actually make it up first and why are there so many golems here hold up let me get another sword i'm gonna need it Queen Iris, glove, cover your eyes. I only need one protector. The rest of you guys just keep on ruining my plants. Oh, that guy yeeted me. What? What now, bud? what I thought no guys I gave him I gave him a fair fight he just like just you know he was bad at the game he was trying to default dance on me did another suspicious too I gotta organize my inventory I've gotten jump boost out of all my suspicious too so they're not too bad all right you Golden Carrot Master. Thank you. That's all I need. Alright guys, that's going to be the end of today's video. I'll probably leave the cake there or eat it later. But I hope you all have a great day and I will see you all next time. Goodbye.